You're watching the morning news on Global Edmonton. Well, the term moxie can mean facing fear with spirit and courage. Marissa McTasney uses that definition in her business, Moxie Trades. Come on in here, Marissa. Now, your business is helping women with home improvement. Let's bring you back around here, I think, sure. so we can see you. Absolutely. I can come Hop up here. Hop right into the lemonade Thank you. stand. Perfect. This is Marissa. <laughs> so you have a unique story for how you actually came to your business. Tell us how you got into the home improvement game. I know it's absolutely crazy. Um, but I was, you know, selling data management software and I was a little bit bored and after I had my kids I really wanted to dream big and think the impossible. And I found a program for women in construction and I cried when I read about this program so I thought this is really what I need to do with myself. So I took this program for women in construction but on the first day of the program we all went to go buy work gear and we all bought men's gear. Sure. So after a lot of research, Industry Canada type stuff, who's working out there? All of these women were being ignored as far as I was concerned. So my goal is to keep them safe and comfortable while they work all day. Let's go on up here and take a look at uh, some of the gear that we have on the table. Let you scoot around here. So uh, if we can take a shot down. So this is actually your line of gear now. You have your very own line of women specific work gear. Absolutely. So it started with the pink work boots. This is Betsy. I wanted to wear pink work boots. I'm a pink girl, so I wanted the pink work boots, but really it's gotten much serious and bigger than that because I've now been doing this for five years and women are telling me how they're getting injured, exactly what they need in the industry. And so we've now developed a, a whole line of product from metal free to slip-ons to hikers. We're coming out with an eight inch in the fall. So we're really trying to keep women safe. And what's different about, so a boot like this I mean, you can feel it. it's a hefty boot. You've got your rubber sole. You've got your non-slip going on. What is different about, say, a woman's boot than a men's boot? Just the fit, really. Okay. They all will do the same job. They have the same components that make up the construction of the boot. But this is dedicated for women. Our, we, the shape of a woman's foot is a little bit different. So we use her shape of a foot to design the footwear. And then we add some, you know, feminine styling to it. With the, um, exactly, with the pink... Or with even with your black ones, you've got a little bit of pink on there. It's, it's a little bit fun. What about um, the hard hat? Is that just, I mean, women tend to have smaller heads than men. Is that the thinking there? You know what? With the hard hat and the tool belt and the safety glasses, the one thing I learned really early on is women like to accessorize. So really, these items are about, they are smaller fit, but they're truly just about having a little bit of fun on site. You know, you have to be really good to wear pink. You have to know what you're doing. You have to know how to use your tools. So That's true. You've got to have a, be a woman with moxie to get away with it. Now, did you ever get a hard time from the men on the job site? No, you know, I actually have Getting haven't. in? Okay. No, Excellent. I, you know, I always say I'm a feminist, but I absolutely adore men. And they have been so supportive. And I know I'm going to make a shirt that says, I love women with moxie because the guys don't have anything for moxie to wear. Oh, <laughs> so. that's fantastic. Yeah. So we have our lemonade stand here. And we just wanted to use this as a prop to talk a little bit about if you're at home, if you're doing a project we have to be aware that there are often little eyes watching absolutely and it's just like getting into a car you wouldn't get into a car without having your seat belt on it's the same thing at home when you're doing a project it's really great if you just automatically reach for the safety glasses every single time you're going to do a project even as simple as a lemonade stand you want to teach your kids the basics right from the beginning and you want to be safe you want to protect your eyes sure so that's you know safety glasses at home is probably the major thing if you're doing a major renovation and any work is going on above head of course you want to have on a hard hat and then you want to be comfortable you do want to protect your feet anytime you're using um, any tools with a blade like these saws that we have here or any heavy wood or lumber because you're always stubbing your toes. So why not just be safe? It's so right. easy. And we want to point out quickly before we go that these aren't tools specific for women. And you said that women still need to use, you don't use women's tools, you just use the I just tool. use really good tools. I use the best tools that I can find to get the job done. It has nothing to do with the, you know, being pink or being made for a woman. Uh, we have the DeWalt, we have Black & Decker, we have Porter Cable here. It's really about getting the job done. So when you are looking for equipment at home walk into your hardware store and ask them tell them about the job that you're doing and ask them for the right tool to get the job done okay excellent thanks thank so you much. so much so you can find this gear marissa was telling me at uh, mark's work warehouse yes. and what's the local store job site workwear job site workwear for more information on diy tips and safety give moxie a call one 404 moxie or find them online through a link on globaltvedmonton.com we're back after a break